So in this video, we're going to look at a really neat trick to help you calibrate if you're having trouble getting started. Sometimes it's hard to find the hydrogen bomber lines until you're familiar with your equipment. So I'm going to do the standard two-point calibration. But here, maybe I don't know which of these dips are the hydrogen bomb or beta. So maybe I think it's that one there. So I'll click on that and I'll put in the hydrogen beta wavelength and click apply. Okay, now I think I'm all done. So I'll click close, all happy with my results. I'll click on the elements and drag them here onto the screen and show the hydrogen bomber series. Well, now when we look for a correspondence between those blue reference lines, now that one lines up because we used it for calibration, but there's no real match down here between that dip and the blue line. So that's not looking good. And well, there is a match here, but there's really not one here and there's no other. So it's not really a great match between the reference lines and our red data. So, but here's the trick that you can use. It takes a little bit of trial and error until you get familiar with calibrating, but that's what we'll show you here. I'll pop up the calibrate window again and put a check mark next to use one point alignment. Now, as I drag this slider, the dispersion is going to be changed. And since it's anchored at zero, those lines will just move back and forth and we can move them back and forth until we spot a real match. Maybe I think that dip there is hydrogen alpha, that, that blue line on the right. So let's just drag that slider until the hydrogen alpha lines up. But then none of these other lines are really lining up with data. So I don't think that point down there is going to be hydrogen alpha. Let's do a little bit more trial and error. I'll just drag a little bit. In fact, maybe here, maybe that there is the hydrogen beta. So we'll go like that. Now let's take a look. I'll zoom in. Well, we've got a dip there. And well, let's a little, do a little fine tuning here. Now we've got all sorts of matches between our reference lines and our data. So what we've just done is dynamically change the calibration, doing a visual match between the blue element lines and our data. And it may feel a little Mickey Mouse to you and like it's a guess, but it's really not. We're just doing a pattern match and the software makes it very easy for you. So the difficulty uh, when you're just getting started in terms of locating the hydrogen bomber beta line uh, or other lines to calibrate on is really eliminated by this because you can dynamically adjust until you see the right calibration. 